Now let's make some macaroni and cheese. And my mom used to do that all the time. She calls it gratin de pâte. The same thing, gratin de pâte. Macaroni and cheese, so we're gonna use really good pasta, really good milk, whole milk. Okay, nothing else. The good cheese, I already grated for you, just fresh. Butter, uh, a little bit of parmesan I'm gonna add. I have a saucepan with a wood spatula and also a whisk that is coated with plastic so it won't scrap, okay, or whatever whisk. All right, first thing, let's get those things going. I want to cook my pasta. For that, I got some really cool stuff. Okay, what you want to see is, this is what you want to see, Trapila. This is basically mean it was in a bronze dye. Basically in a bronze dye, so they are rugged. The one in Teflon, they, they, they extract them too fast. They can't hold the sauce or anything and they break. Those is good quality pasta. You can see they're very rugged. When you look at it very closely, they're all rugged. And they have been dried for a day or two, not in a machine. So it's very important. So when they dry slowly, they dry and they firm, they, they hold when you cook them. And when you look at them, they are rugged. They're not, you can feel. Okay, all right, cool. So now I'm gonna cook them over there. So I have my water boiling right here. Hot stuff. I'm gonna put some salt, a big amount of salt. So for this, let me show you how much, let me show water, how much water I got in there. Okay, that's my water, salt. I'm gonna put a tablespoon and a half. Okay, good, cool. All right. All right, water. I'm gonna wait maybe a little bit until it boils really, really, really strong. Okay, it's a little. Wait. And then I'm going to look at the package, see what it says. How long do I need to cook those guys? Hmm. Well, what? Ah, <laughs> right here. Okay, so here we go. I found it. 10 minutes cooking. All right, so eight minutes. Okay, and we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna time it. I'm gonna time it because I want to be undercooked. I want them to be really al dente, very undercooked. So I'm gonna cook them for about eight minutes, put them out, put them in a bowl, very, very little oil, just so they don't tack. And then we're gonna make our bechamel, our cheese, and that's gonna go in the oven. Oven is ready at 350, and I'm gonna get going. Pasta is going, the water is hot and boiling. I have already salt in there. So I'm gonna put my pasta. There you go. And what you wanna do for the pasta, you wanna give it a little steer always, right? So they don't stay in the bottom, that's all. So once you put your pasta, give it a little steer so they don't attach to the bottom. Lead keeps that temperature more I mean harder, so it's easier, right? I'm gonna do eight minutes, so 7.43. Now I have to figure out what's 7.43 plus eight minutes, so it's gonna take me a while, but I'll get it. Okay, so now, well done. let's get that sauce going. Now I'm gonna get my bechamel going. Medium heat, so medium heat, okay? So not too crazy, very gentle. Small flame. Medium, not, not too low, not too high. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my butter, which is, quick, half a stick. So it's getting warm, nice. Half a stick in there. It says warm, uh, half a stick. Okay, 
You guys follow the measurement. I'm not really into measurement, so I'm going to do by hand. I mean, roughly. But you guys follow the measurement, okay? So, all purple. So this is what's happening, guys. It's melting right now. See, my butter is melting, right? Oh, I think I put too much. No, that's it. Did I put too much? Ça c'est quoi? C'est un stick ou quoi? No. No, it's good. We're all good. All right. And uh, now I'm going to put my quarter cup, so it's about the same amount, okay? You guys, I don't measure, but you measure, okay? I don't measure very well, but you guys measure, okay? It's important. And then we're going to make a roux. Okay, okay. I have my milk here. It's not cold. It's room temperature, so it's fine. If it was cold, you might want to reheat it a little bit or pour very slowly when you incorporate, that's all. Not a big deal. All right, so I see, all right. Okay, so now I need to go on medium low. I need to make the roux, you see that? That's gonna be a type of a paste, and that's gonna be kind of like, it's getting a little brown. So it's gonna be a little while, and I wanna make sure that I always do those corners, you see? And this is why I'm using that shape lay, uh, spatula so I can go in the corners. Those are the spatula for cooking, you see? I can grate those corners and not have to worry about it. Now, you see that? It's looking good. And I am keep going though, eh? because that's gonna, the milk is gonna go in there, that's all. So what I want is this thing to smell like hazelnut. So go gentle. And you're gonna see it's gonna color, it's gonna start to change color. It's gonna take, you guys, it varies in the time. It can take two minutes to like five minutes. So it's a, yeah. And keep going like this, and you're gonna see the color is gonna change a little bit. The trick here is not to smell the butter or the flour. So if you go like this, right now I can smell the flour and the butter. You wanna smell hazelnut like nutty, not any of those, okay? And only your nose can tell you when it's done. So basically the color is gonna be a little bit amber, but not too much. So I'm gonna go and wait until it smells really good, okay? And again, I wanna make sure those corners don't get, keep some gunk in there. So it's going very well, gently. Not smelling yet, okay? It's still, you can still smell the raw flour. No, it needs to be very, very nice and almost, almost like a little bit sweet, but not bitter. That, went, uh, that means you went too far, okay? Sometimes it, make, it's more, it makes more like a gunk, like a paste. Don't worry about it, it's fine. The, the roux can be very different <laughs> shape, okay? Depends how, many, how much flour you put in there. I put usually the less flour that I need because I, I want less flour, that's me. But I'm gonna have to reduce my milk a little more. So it's a little more difficult, but I want less flour in my food, that's all. It's just a personal thing. Almost there. Not quite, not quite. Okay, it may be a little pasty. Mine is a little liquid because I put more butter. It may be a little pasty, that's fine. Not too oily, this tape is not too oily, okay? Don't worry about it. I want you to 
Mm. Oops, 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 oops. It's getting all nice and golden, and I think we're gonna go. You can't really see, but it's getting a little golden, like almost like my table, but not quite. Ooh, it smells really good. Already. Now look what I do. See that? Okay, and just keep whisking. Keep whisking. And look at those corners. Don't forget those corners. All right, here we go. And now we can go on medium heat. Okay, just raise the temp, medium heat, and whisk, whisk, whisk. And make sure you don't forget those corners. Remember those corners because you may have some pieces of flour, cause in the corner, and that would burn. And you keep whisking, you see? Nice, huh? Keep whisking. And make sure nothing stays here, okay? And the corners, make sure those corners, you take care of them, okay? Like this, yeah. Okay, so I'm on medium heat, nothing crazy. And I'm gonna reduce my milk, that's all. It's gonna take about a few minutes, and that's all. Once it's thickened, I'm going to stop, add a bunch of um, nutmeg, really like nutmeg, you don't have to, it really gives that bechamel the good taste flavor. I also some, I have some, added some um, spices in there for you, turmeric and sweet paprika, it's really good. And I put way more than a half teaspoon, just so you know, because I put a lot of spice. So. Pasta done. So I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna, boom, get the pasta away. Ugh. All right. Okay, big bowl, put that in there. Sauce is going well. It's time to thicken. I'm gonna leave it on, medium heat. Look at those, beautiful. And you see I'm waiting a little bit so the steam goes away, right? You see all this steam, that's water. So. Go like this, shake them, shake them. Now I'm gonna put them in the bowl right here. And a very little oil, very little oil. I don't know, maybe a teaspoon or two. That's it. Ooh, ooh, it smells good with that olive oil. Ooh. Shake it really well, guys. Take your time. Look at that. Let's see what's happening here. It's starting to thicken. Thickening slowly but gently. And we're going to get going until it's thick, just like bechamel. Maybe a few more minutes, done. So I'm going to put that away. My oven is ready at 350. And I'm going to put some herbs in my parsley. I mean, 
I'm gonna put some parsley or herbs, whatever you want. I, mean, I have some parsley right here. I'm gonna put a bunch of parsley in there. Herbs are great. Oh, look, some tarragon. Why not? Why not? A little bit of tarragon. Can't. Okay. Parsley. I put a lot of parsley. I love parsley. Put the parsley. Easy. Take that. Okay, you see, remove this, the stem, make a little ball, and chop, chop, chop. So I really like herbs, guys. I think you should eat all herbs all the time. This is very important. Really, really important. Lots of nutrients, tons of antioxidants, lot of vitamin C, a bunch of your minerals already in there. My tagon, I up a little tagon. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Next, as the whole thing, beautiful. That's going to go into the pasta. Oh, man, that's going to be good. Okay. Mix, mix, mix right away. It's already cool. That's good. And I think my bechamel is going to be, whoa, it's a little hot. <laughs> and the bechamel is done. Look at this. See, thick. I'll show you again, don't worry. Uh, one more minute. Let me show you why I think it's done. It's pretty thick. See? Not quite. It smells really good. See that? It's pretty thick, right? I'm going to give it one more minute. One more minute. Just to finish it. One more minute. So keep whisking. Give it a beautiful bechamel. Okay, done. Off. Now, let's get my nutmeg, which is right here. So don't buy gram. Buy those seeds. They last you for a lifetime. They will last you for a lifetime. I'm sorry. This is crazy. Okay, let's put that in there. How much is up to you? It's very strong and you see only a little crumb. I really like nutmeg. I think it's very important. So if I had to measure, I would say a quarter teaspoon. Start with a quarter teaspoon. And then if you really, really like it, you can go to, you know, a little more, but it's super strong. Okay, you have to be careful with that guy. I really like it. I think nutmeg is pretty fantastic. It's incredibly healthy for you. It's a lot of really cool nutrients that are a little bit different from other spices. Okay. In there, I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt. Three quarter teaspoon. Let's try it first. Okay. Because I, I, want, I don't want it too salty because I'm going to put cheese and parmesan. So, you know, I like salt. No, I like salt. Just want to make sure it's not too crazy. So this bechamel is really beautiful. Whoa. I need some salt. So before you do anything, let's try that. Let's, let's make it good. Not too salty though. You want it to be just a little bit more. I like more nutmeg for sure. That's me. Guys, I really like nutmeg. Okay, that's good. All right. Now, guess where that's going? 
You guessed already? No way. Well, here we go. Man. Yeah, we know that's going to be good, right? We know that. Now, I'm going to put, so, get a spoon. I'm going to put some, my, so I put more, guys. I, I, don't, I don't put the teaspoon thing. I like a little more. Okay, wow. Some cheese. I'm gonna put a little cheese in the middle. Little cheese in the middle and a lot of cheese on top. You guys can put more cheese, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, I'm not gonna put a lot of cheese in the pasta because uh, sometimes I put more, it doesn't matter, like today, different, right? You can put Parmesan, whatever you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm ready here, and you see I put more spices, I put way more turmeric and smoked paprika because I really like those. Uh, you guys can just follow the direction. I really like the, a lot of, turmeric in there because it gives you, it's going to be all yellow and pretty. Yeah. Great. All right. And now that goes in my dish. Right there. See? You can put more cheese in the middle, like absolutely you can, and not a prime at all. I just didn't put too much because I'm doing that for someone who is not crazy about cheese. So I'm going to put a lot of the cheese on the top. And if you didn't like the cheese, you can remove it, right? Cool. Wow. Looks awesome already. And here we go. This is my fontina, I just grated, that's why it's all crumpy. But just break it down. Ali, little palm. Fun, right? Wow, that's gonna be pretty cool. Great, that's it, done. Now, this 350 oven, 20 25 minutes. I'm gonna go on a tray. Anything you have like this, guys, this is easy to carry cold, right? When it's hot, it's not easy. And who knows what's gonna happen in the oven? You don't want any mess. So you always wanna go on the tray, right? That goes straight into the oven. All right, so we're gonna go in the oven for 20, 25 minutes, 30. Until what? It has to be all crusty on the top and beautiful. Why? Because it's all cooked. Pasta is cooked, bechamel is done. Everything is done, right? So all I need is the top to be gratiné. It takes 15 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. This is 350 right now. So 350. 350-360 uh, should give you about 15-20 minutes, a nice crust, boom, done. Okay? So we're going to wait and come back in whatever time. Cool, huh? Ow, hot. This is it.
So this is a great color, enough for me. I don't want to destroy it. You can always cook it a little more if you, want, if you like more browning, of course. Uh, you can also finish it in a broiler for two minutes at the end if you're not happy with the color. In this case, what you need to do is you need to open the oven, put it on broil, and put that kind of like on the top shelf and don't close the door of the oven and stay in front and watch it. And you can see it coming. It takes two to three minutes max. Okay, broiler is very fast, so don't go too crazy on the, on the broiler. Okay, cool. Done.